Doctors have not been immune to arrest, torture and murder by government forces. This doctor says he was jailed for nearly a year in Syria and beaten for treating injured neighbors. I am civilian. I have, uh, I have a family. I am very famous. I have a clinic. I am, I am a teacher in, in university. I um, uh, um, teach the, the, the students and uh, suddenly I am, I am a, a criminal. Uh, why? Because I help my neighbors. Like widow Hasna, injured Syrians remain strong amid ongoing violence back home. Hasna has channeled her pain into poetry, urging her countrymen on to victory and freedom. <laughs> Margaret Bashir, VOA News, Tripoli, Lebanon. Well, the Thunderbolt strikes in London still to come in, on in focus. And Young joins us live with Bolt's big win and the latest on Africa's rush for the gold. And rain doesn't dampen spirits uh, as Olympic runners make the way their way through the British capital. We'll be right back with all of the women's marathon mania and the final outcome. <laughs> Whether you live in Somalia, Senegal, Nigeria, or Zimbabwe, from every corner of sub-Saharan Africa, turn to us for information and experts to help you improve health and life, for you and your family, for your health. Africa Health Network, only on VOA. Welcome back. We are into the final week of the 2012 Summer Olympic Games and there is no end to the euphoria in London and around the world. Heavy rain and huge crowds poured out for the weekend's women's marathon and to witness Ethiopia's Tiki Galana crossing the finishing line first. Viewers Salah Hennessy covered the action street side. It was pouring rain in London for the start of the women's marathon. But that didn't stop the crowds. With flags waving, many had waited for hours to secure a spot with the best view of the race, trying to shield themselves from the weather any way they could. Just waiting to show the runners their support when the Olympic athletes finally arrived. They told VOA it had been well worth the wait. Brilliant, absolutely amazing. Um, I just can't believe how many people, especially with the weather, I mean, it's been absolutely pouring and the weather has been awful and there's been so many people out. So, yeah, it's really good. It was the British flag flying high in the capital city, but on the street, every country had its fans. Go Peru! Go Peru! I'm here today to support the Team Force, yeah. Go Peru! Citizens from just about every corner of the world seem to be in London. We came all the way from South Africa to support them. Whether they South Africans, whether they come first or come last, we still behind them all the way. It's pretty cool, you know, seeing seeing people from all over the world, you know, gather around just to watch the sport. So it's it's pretty awesome. <laughs> And even if they were all supporting different countries, the crowd appeared happy, rooting together. Sayla Hennessy for VOA News, London. Even in the rain, I would have been there. I would have been there. Well, now for more exciting Summer Olympics news, our own Sunny Young joins us live from London with the sunny side of sports. Hey, hey hello, sunny. sunny. The weekend was filled with a thrilling Olympic action. What do you say? Olympic greetings from London, Vincent and Demi. Jamaican star Usain Bolt has once again proven he's the world's fastest man. Bolt blazed to an Olympic record of 9.63 seconds in the 100-meter dash final. Only Bolt himself has run faster. As you might expect, Jamaicans all over the world were crazy about his accomplishment. Legend, isn't it? We have Bob Marley as a legend and Usain as a legend, yeah, and I'm proud of it. That's why I want him to win, you get me? So he will always be a legend. Fantastic. World can describe. It's brilliant. I'm so glad that he can make a one and two. I feel great. I feel like I ran the race myself. I am over the moon, the sun, the star, everything. But maybe tomorrow I'll come back to her. Never know. <laughs> 
Usain Bolt will have a shot at two more Olympic gold medals later this week. He'll be running in the men's 200 meters event, defending his gold medal, as well as the four by 100 meter relay with the Jamaican team. Meanwhile, one of the feel-good Olympic stories over the weekend was Somalia-born Mo Farah winning a gold medal for host Britain in the men's 10,000 meters final. Farah's wife and daughter ran out onto the track after he finished first and gave him hugs and kisses. It was just amazing coming, last lap kicking in and the crowd just getting louder and louder and louder, cameras going off and oh, at one point I didn't even know where I was but I just had to concentrate and just dig in and, and work and when I crossed the line it was the best moment. I just couldn't, I couldn't believe I won and I think I was smacking my head but I don't know why, it was just that, that moment I didn't even know where I was. It was the best moment seeing Tanya and my daughter Rihanna coming to the track and give me a hug and give me a kiss. And I was just, oh, I, just I, got, I got really emotional at that point and tears were coming out and yeah, it was unbelievable. Right. Our In Focus viewers should note Mo Farah's wife is pregnant and she says she almost went into labor when her husband won the Olympic gold medal. Finally, here's a sunny side of sports salute for two Olympic champions from Ethiopia. Tiki Galana won the Olympic marathon title for women over the weekend, setting an Olympic record of two hours, 23 minutes and seven seconds. And Tiranesh Dibaba successfully defended her Olympic title in the women's 10,000 meters race. Tiranesh has now won three, count them, three Olympic gold medals and established herself as one of the greatest female distance runners of all time. And Tiranesh Dibaba will be going for a fourth Olympic gold medal on Friday night in the women's 5,000 meters race. Once again, she'll be defending her Olympic title. I'm VOA Sonny Young in London, and that's the sunny side of sports. Well, thanks a lot, Sunny. Yeah, stay tuned to uh, In Focus for Sunny Young's Olympic reports from London throughout uh, the Games. And that's our show for today. Be sure to watch In Focus on our website at voaafrica.com. And as always, for more news, please tune into VOA's evening radio show, Africa News Tonight at 1600 and 1800 UTC. And in the mornings, of course, to Daybreak Africa, beginning at 0300 UTC, Monday through Friday. Thanks so much for watching. Join us again tomorrow. Good night. Good night.